Yo, YouTube, what's good? Um, just hopping on here making this quick little vid. Hey man, run the play. Run the play, run the play, run the play, fellas. You already know what the play is. In this video, I'm gonna break down how exactly I'm going about and thinking about making money online and how you can too. Um, so I don't know about you, but you know, I kind of been in this self-improvement space, this online entrepreneurship space, uh, really looking at it and also, you know, taking action, right? You know, I started a couple of businesses, a marketing agency, been doing online high ticket sales. If you want to learn more about that, hit me in the DM. But I've been looking at this space probably for the last like four or five years, right? But I still ain't like super well off, right? Like I'm in a, a decent crib. Um, you know, don't really got no furniture like that. Things have slowed down in my life, but that's not stopping nothing. You feel me? Slowing down ain't stopping nothing. And that's because I made a fatal mistake, right? And this fatal mistake is really putting too much eggs in one basket and not building something for the long term. Let me explain. So I feel like a lot of people online, they talk about, you know, I may have even said it, right? that, okay, you're one skill away, or once you have this skill, or once you're you know, in this opportunity, whatever it may be, then you will kind of be set at that point. And I've noticed that slightly to be true, but you need to have multiple things going out at the same time. And the biggest key is focusing on the right things that's gonna benefit you most in the long term. Because having a skill, working with clients, getting cash flow in is nice, but if you lose those clients, the money stops. And there's no way that you can like really uh, have more cash flow unless you're doing outreach to more clients. And, you know, it's much harder of a pitch or a sale, whatever service or product, or whatever you're providing, it's much harder when you don't already have a pre-established relationship. I know you probably heard this before, but people buy off the relationship. People buy off knowing who you are. People buy off your presence. People buy off your energy. People buy off... Uh, who they believe you to be, right? And who you believe yourself to be. So when you come online and, before I get into that, that's what the key is, right? I, I know y'all have seen the model, maybe it's Iman Gassi, maybe it's Hamza, maybe it's Stephis Cole, um, any of these YouTubers, right? You've probably seen the model ran. They running the play, they running the play. The play is you, you do focus on one skill, and you get really good at that skill and you provide that skill to other people as a service. That's gonna get you to like six figures. That's gonna have you making decent income. That's gonna have you, you know, maybe 8K a month, 10K a month, whatever it may be. And that's nice. I'm not doing that right now. It's things is uh, picking up. But this month, this last month, this November, uh, got me back up until that point. We just waiting on some things to hit. Nevertheless, that's not the biggest key. The biggest bar and all that is once you learn how to get the stream, like once you have that, already you should be documenting your journey on you learning the skill, providing the skill, outreach, providing the skill to other people. And then the people gonna start asking, can you teach me how to do it? And that's the board, is to provide information over the internet by building a brand. Building something that people rock with so then they wanna work with you. And not only, this is the whole key, not only are they gonna wanna work with you to learn how to do what you're doing, but they're also gonna want to be your client because they rock with you. So you're going to have two groups of people. You're going to have people that want to learn what you're doing. You're going to have people that's going to be your client and you can service them. And to me, the people that's doing it right the most, like I've seen Iman doing this, is the people that's putting their people on, but then providing a service that subsequently they'll need eventually. So, for example, say I'm saying to, um, you know, start a business, start making money, start uh, learning a, high, a, a skill. That's how you're gonna improve your life. You go learn that skill, but then I also provide uh, you the resource on what's needed to, to grow your high ticket closing business. So what if I teach you, okay, not only this is how you start, but this is how you turn it into a business and this is how you scale that business. So now I'm providing a service because Basically, what you're offering is a service. You're offering a coaching service. That's pretty much the position I'm in now. Hope this is not going over your head. Just think about it, right? I'm currently closing for a business, so I'm providing my time for money. I'm providing a skill for some money. Next level of that is having other people close for these businesses, and I just get a cut, or I just get 
uh, something off the top for providing a person, right? So now that removes my time for money. Now I have a system working. So now I can go move on to different things. Let's say through that process, I had a skill. I started scaling up as a business. Boom. I start teaching people how to do the skill. And then I start, again, that's how that's going to provide the people that's uh, closing for these businesses. So through that process, now I got three income streams. I got closing, I got teaching people how to do it, and I got building sales teams. Okay? So those three income streams, essentially what I've built, now since at that point I will have built like a coaching business on teaching people how to do it, now I can teach other people how to scale coaching businesses. And then the people that just will follow the same path. So they'll start closing and then they'll start building their sales agency and then they'll build a coaching business and then they just gonna keep needing somebody to show them how to do it. And as long as you provide good work and provide value, then people are gonna keep coming back. So that's how I'm looking at it at least, right? That's how I'm kind of mapping out the play. I'm about to run the play. I'm running the play right now. I'm just hopping on the internet, providing value. Um, and even though and I, I think a mistake people make, especially when thinking about building a long-term brand, and Gary vee has been talking about this for shit, ever. Um, but, you know, yes, a niche is good, having things that you do, but you are a niche. Like, I made a video in the past called, like, you are the best niche. Because it's like, all the individual things that you do are gonna attract different types of people. We, are, we live on the internet now, so these people can find you for different reasons different things especially with an algorithm like TikTok, to where uh it's based off interest and it's not based off like subscribing so with algorithms like that you can make videos about every aspect of your life and certain people are going to come certain people are going to do it but then this way you're more trusted because it's showing your whole life and you as a human being as opposed to just making videos about the skill that you're doing and being born like me personally i don't like you Stuff like that. I don't like, you know, I go for them strictly for the information. Now, if that's how you want to be looked at, do I think that will help you go faster in the short term? Yeah. I think it will help you make more money in the short term if you stick with a niche and attack that niche and just like provide value to that niche and you will go fast. But I think for the long term, it's going to be people that rock with you and people will rock with you more if you make content that's more personal, talking about your life, what you're going through, especially me, like, since I'm heavily interested in self-improvement and just becoming the best version of myself, I can just talk about my journey of doing that. Hopefully give y'all some game about my journey. Y'all give me some game about y'all journey. And then we just, you know, trade game. Not only if I'm getting better with the game on like tips from y'all, but I'm able to like go back and look back at the content I made and see the tips I gave myself. Cause these is basically advice to myself. So, it's so many benefits um, to doing that approach, talking about your life and self-improvement in general. I think it's a great thing for anybody to do because it allows you to provide value in so many different ways in the future. Like look at Tony Robbins. You know, he got health courses, he got relationship courses, he got supplements, he got coaching, business coaching. Like if you're talking about self-improvement, then you talk about everything. And the marketplace rewards who gives the most value. And to give the most value, you're giving it in a deep way. To give it in a deep way, it has to be personal for somebody. Like, yes, fixing my roof is cool. That's gonna provide value. It puts shelter over my head, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. But is it gonna make me happy? Like, ultimately, at the end of the day, people wanna be happy and fulfilled. So if you know that, that's like the key to sales. It's like, most people just wanna be happy and fulfilled. They want to feel free, happy, fulfilled, like they're doing what they want, and they just want to do things that's going to get them closer to that ideal version of themselves. Um, so that's where like the whole model of becoming the best version of yourself, I think is so crucial, because that's where, that's what people ultimately want. They want to become the best version of themselves. That's what people aspire. Uh, so I think a lot of times people, and I can speak from experience, if you, know, you have trouble identifying what is that for you, you see so many different people, especially in today's day and age. Um, so it's hard to identify what is that for you. But just going back to pulling this full circle, um, I feel like you already know, just run the play. 
You already know what you want to do. You already know the whole play. Just run it, bro. Just run it. Like, become aware. Like, Andrew Tate, he talked about perspicacity and, like, that's basically, like, awareness. Um, so become aware of what's going on in the world. What's going on in the marketplace. How, why are these videos blowing up? What are these people talking about? Run the play. Just see the model. There's, like, the benefit of having so many people in the world is there's so many different models, but the downside of it is, um, you know, you, you, have, you still have to be yourself at the end of the day. You just take bits and pieces from everybody, and then you just show up as your authentic self and whatever you plan on doing, you know? For people that's probably watching this video, online entrepreneurship, online business, all these good things, you know, that's going to look like producing some type of content online. Like, that's the market. Like, marketing is the key to the business because sales is the key to business. And to get sales, you have to market yourself. And the best way to market yourself in 2022, in 2023, is online. It's been that way for a minute. So you got to get online some way, whether that's written content, video content, audio content, whatever it may be. But you got to put content online. And that content has to provide value to somebody, whether that value is educational, entertainment, um, inspirational, it don't matter. It's just gotta hit the dopamine receptors and make niggas uh, feel good about it. And then feel a need. So, you know, y'all on this video, y'all might not know what to do, how to make the money, how to start. Hit my DM. I can help you become a high ticket closer. If you're not experienced in business, I teach you sales, I teach you how to find clients. Um, I teach you how to get on an offer. Um, I may even place you with an offer. Who knows? Hit me up. Or if you already have a business and you just come in here for the self-improvement type stuff, hit me up. I can help you build a sales team. I know closers. I have the network. I've been involved in the industry. Talk to me. I'm hopping off. Um, Y'all take action on this video. Do what you think is right, ultimately. Just do what you feel is right in your heart. Become aware of your surroundings, run the play, live the life you want to want, that, that you want to live. Um, yeah, just run the play. Don't be scared. It don't got to be perfect. Just put it out there. Get better. Stay consistent. And I'll catch y'all next